This is my second video talking about even and odd functions. A link to the first video is given in the video description below. So quickly reviewing, the function f is an even function if f of negative x equals f of x for all x in the domain of the function f. The graphs of even functions are symmetric with respect to the y-axis. The function f is an odd function if f of negative x equals negative f of x for all x in the domain of the function f. The graphs of odd functions are symmetric with respect to the origin. But don't forget, Functions can also be neither odd nor even. This means that there are three categories of functions, even, odd, and neither. In the first video, I just looked at polynomial functions and for these functions found, if all powers of x are even numbers, then the function is an even function. And if all powers of x are odd numbers, then the function is odd. Remember, all constant terms are considered even as, for example, 3 equals 3x to the 0, and 0 is an even number. But remember, this shortcut can only be used with polynomial functions. So let's look at a couple of examples. I need to determine whether the following functions are even, odd, or neither. Then I need to determine whether the function's graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis, the origin, or neither. And here and here, I've summarized the information from the previous slide on even and odd functions. So looking at my first example here, is this a polynomial function? No, I have an absolute value in it. So I have to go back to basics and figure out what f of negative x is. That means I need to replace every x in the definition of f with negative x. So f of negative x is 3 times the absolute value of negative x minus 4. Well, what's the absolute value of negative x? It's exactly the same as the absolute value of positive x. So I get 3 times the absolute value of x minus 4. Now, is this the same as my original function? Yes, so I have just shown that f of negative x equals f of x. So I've shown that this is true, so I know for this function it's an even function and its graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Looking at my second example, is this a polynomial function? No, it's a rational function. So I need to figure out what f of negative x is. It equals 2 times, instead of all the x's, I'm going to put negative x. So I have 2 times negative x, all divided by negative x, all squared, plus 6. 2 times negative x is negative 2x, divided by negative x, all squared, is positive x squared, plus 6. Is this expression the same as this one? No, so f of negative x does not equal f of x, so this says it is not even. So now I need to determine what negative f of x is. So that means I'm just going to take my function and multiply it by negative 1. So I have negative 1 times my function, which is 2x divided by x squared plus 6. So negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x divided by x squared plus 6. Now, is this the same as this function? Yes. So negative f of x equals 
f of negative x, I've shown this to be true. So I know this function is an odd function and the graph is symmetric with respect to the origin. Looking at the symmetry in a little more detail, here is my first example that was an even function and its graph is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. Here's its graph. Does it look symmetric with respect to the y-axis? Yes. If I folded my graph paper down the y-axis, this part of the graph would lie on this. My second example was an odd function. Its graph is symmetric with respect to the origin. This means if you rotate the graph 180 degrees around the origin, then you will land up with your original function. This is a little harder to see, so what I do is I take a point on the graph, draw a straight line, if I can get my pen to work, going through the origin, and do you get a point on the graph equidistant on the other side? Yes. So this definitely looks like it has symmetry about the origin.